The following program contains no firearms, no scenes of hunting, no violence and no cruelty to animals. All guns shown are compressed air in spring, CO2 or pre-charge forms. The program is aimed at being informative, entertaining and above all promoting safety. It is only made possible by the help from the following people who make up the production team and who give up their time and expertise free of charge. Hello there, recently I reviewed the Daystate Griffin in all its adjustable splendour and what a beautiful rifle it is. Whilst I had my hands on it I thought just like the 2.2 Daystate Saxon the best way to put it through its paces was to do a pellet test. Focusing on different types of pellets that you would probably want to use either in a target or hunting environment. So I settled down with full air tank the selection of pellets, crony at the point of impact and cameras. After all if it's worth doing then it's worth doing well. If we're doing a test we want as much information as possible. My thought was to find which was best either in target shooting or hunting. Again I wanted to know which was fastest at point of impact, which had the most power at point of impact and of course which was going to be most accurate. After all power is nothing without control. The test was done over a measured 40 meters which in my opinion is getting close to the extreme of a kill range for a sub 12 foot pound rifle. This range demands hitting a very limited size target to ensure an instant and humane outcome. What follows is a speeded up target session for each pellet and I will discuss the results and findings afterwards. So for now sit back and enjoy and I'll see you the other side of this brief session.
Well, some very different pellets were used and results were also very different. There were some quite fancy design pellets that gave some indifferent results, so I thought I needed to concoct a system to score these pellets in an attempt to find an all-round winner, if that were at all possible. The sheet that follows I'll post on Facebook as I did the 2-2 test and I'll put a link to it below. It goes without saying that different guns prefer different pellets, but I would not describe this Griffin as particularly pellet fussy. Again, it even held the long polymag type pellets in the magazine. They are a strange fit and probably best used in a single shot tray to be fair. Anyway, the scoring. 12 different pellets, so 12 points for each category up for grabs. Fastest at point of impact gets 12 points, down to the slowest, 1 point. The same goes for power, highest impact power at point of impact, 12 points, down to the least powerful getting 1 point. Then the all important accuracy. I gave some level of leniency again here by splitting it into best four out of five shot group and best all five shot group. So in case I've confused anyone, let's look at an example to explain the scoring. JSB Exact Diablo, it was seventh fastest at the target, so got six points. Carried a low power of 6.22 foot pounds, which was eighth most powerful, so got five points. It was, however, only eighth most accurate in the four shot group, getting five points again, but 10th in the five shot accuracy, gaining only three points, giving a grand total of 19 points, which was only good for eighth position overall in this particular group. It was beaten by the H&N Sniper Lite, whose results were quite a shock to me. I realise this is only an alternative way of looking at this, but the results are posted for you to extract what is most important to you in a pellet. I will straight away state that this is the 177 pellet test, because in the 2.2 calibre, some of the results were quite different. If you want to see those results, please Use the link in this video. This has been a very complex test, trying to ensure all conditions are equal for each pellet, and was from a bench rested position. Now I don't claim to be the best shot in the world, but I am fairly consistent, hopefully ensuring there was a good level of balance and fair play, so to speak. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, and found it informative. If so, give us a thumbs up. If you want to make any comments, please do so in the box below. Don't forget, of course, to subscribe to make sure you're kept up to date with all the new reviews being completed. And finally, of course, a big thank you for watching and a big thank you to Drapers, as always, for their constant help. Why not check out their website in the link below. Well, that's it for now from me. Hope to see you next time on Andy's Airgun Review.